Hello friends, welcome to our channel Architecture Design Edu. Today I am going to talk about a very interesting kind of a gateway which is not so significant in terms of size. If we just compare Buland Darwaza with this gateway, this is a very small kind of a gateway but it has a lot of significance. Uh, this is the Alai Darwaza. So I am going to tell about uh, it and I am going to elaborate some of the interesting architectural facts related to it. Now first let's little bit rewind ourselves so that we get to know what kind of a context in which uh, it was built. So, Kutul Islam Mosque was built by Kutubuddin Ebak. After that, Iltutmish felt that there is a need for expanding this particular mosque. So, what he did was he added a symmetrical kind of a cloister around the Kutul Islam Mosque and the, the size of this mosque now was three times the size of the Kutul Islam Mosque. And then after that, Alauddin Khirji came into power and he added yet another cloister but this time the cloister was asymmetric the size of the mosque was enlarged to six times the original size Alauddin Khilji also had planned an alai manar similar to the Qutub Minar now when the mosque was actually expanded to six times its original size um, there were there was a need for more entrance gateways because there would be so many people coming in and so many people exiting it so that's the reason there were four gateways which were planned and which were designed and but out of that only one is remaining that is the Alai Darwaza. Now this is very prominent kind of a Darwaza because there are so many buildings which were inspired from the techniques uh, used in the Alai Darwaza which we are going to see now. Now Alai Darwaza is the southern gateway to the Kotel Islam Mosque complex and if we just talk about the building vocabulary, it consists of a cubical base and it is topped with a hemispherical dome. You will be saying, Ki, what's so uh, interesting about this cubical base and hemispherical dome that we had seen in Iltutmish tomb as well. In the Iltutmish tomb, what happened is that uh, the uh, arches, the domes and the connection with them was not so refined. But here we can find that the technique is very uh, refined one because they have gone in for true domes, true squinches and true arches. Now if you might be saying Ki, what do you mean by true arch? So true arch is an arch with radiating wuzos. The use of the true arch was first seen very prominently in the Balban's tomb. In the Balban's tomb for the first time the Islamic pointed arch could be seen which is used by the true arch technique and that we can very well see very in a refined manner in the Alai Darwaza. Uh, we'll talk about the arch. Now here the arch is also quite different because there is this Islamic arch but in the intradoors of the arch one can find that there is a very unique kind of a feature which is being added and that is an Indian Hindu feature that is a garland of buds also referred as a spearheaded fringe is added to the intradoors of the intradoors of the arch and that actually helps to soften the stern profile of the arch and this technique has been used in many other subsequent Indo-Islamic buildings later on. That's the reason this is a very unique kind of a building. If we just take an example of Gyasuddin Tughlaq's tomb or any other tomb, we can find that the interdose is adorned with the garland of parts. The next important thing or prominent feature which you can find over here is about the cladding. Now here they have created a very interesting kind of a pattern for the cladding. If you just imagine that this would have been a red stone, fully red uh, stone cladding, cladding done, it would have been quite boring. But what they have done is they have emphasized the openings by using the alternate bands of red sandstone at white marble. And this technique has been used in many other subsequent buildings. If you just see the Humayun tomb which was built by the Mughals, there also we can find that the openings have been emphasized by the alternate bands of red sandstone and white marble. The next very important thing which you can find over here is the use of jalis. Jalis means the fretted screen. So you can just see that intricate jalis have been carved and these jalis had patterns of hexagons and stars which were carved into it into red sandstone and fitted into the opening. So that is also a very unique feature and the jalis as you know allowed light and ventilation inside so from inside the cubicle structure was quite was quite well lit 
then you can find the use of pilasters on the exterior side very interesting another thing which you can find over here is about the treatment of the massing or um, from the inside it is just single story structure but if you just don't know that it is a single story structure you might be confused ki whether it is a single story or double story i'll tell you what is the reason because from the exterior if you just see that they have made two compartments from the exterior they have divided the mass into two parts to relate to the human scale they have broken down the massing and that has been done by adding false arches or false windows now you might be saying or false openings now you might be saying ma'am what do you mean by false openings false openings means they are treated like openings but they are not actually the openings so you might feel uh, find that there is a profile of the arch but that arch is not functioning like you cannot pass through that arch or you don't have any kind of opening into it so that is actually the false windows or false openings which have been added over there so that is one of the very interesting feature of the alai darwaza i hope i have covered all the features of the alai darwaza if you like the video if you find it at, um, at least one percent of it it's quite helpful to you to please like our video please share it like that there are many other videos related to the kotel islam mosque complex so i'll keep the link in the description box you can just check out and you can get some interesting fascinating facts about it uh, till the next video take care and bye bye